Good evening. So today we are going to cover how to make your own travel website. Now, as you know, Paycation provides you with a website through them, but this option gives you a little more flexibility as to how you want your customers to see your business. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. So, so we can see here. Um, the name of the website is called Wix. It's W-I-X. And I've already logged in. Basically, you create an account. I recommend you using whatever email address is attached to your business that you're making the website about. So, of course, uh, my name is Kirita Powell, and I'm the owner and operator of Sophisticated Travel. I have owned and operated my own business since January of 2017. So I'm going on two years. So basically, I'm going to go to edit site. And here it's going to bring up and load what I've done and built so far on my end. Okay. So here we go. And so basically, when you're getting ready to do your and create your website, you're going to go to page creator. Okay. So here we go. This bar, you can close out of that because you don't really need it. So this is my home page. So I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit of things. You see how that stuff highlights? This is how you know when you're in edit and view because it's giving you the option. So as you can see already, I have already done quite a bit. Then I have my home button, about us, contact us, Disney, weddings and honeymoons, group travel, and more is basically the packages tab. So when you, when your uh, clientele clicks on more, if you have a more there, it's gonna bring up the remaining options you were typing out here. I've also put in like a video slide here. Um, and basically, every time I travel, I'm going to upload the pictures so it can just keep sliding. Um, I don't exactly know how many, what's the image limit, but if it gets to that, then I can always swap out older pictures for newer ones. Down here, um, You'll see my packages. So basically, you can click there to go to the packages page. Click here to go to the actual United States Passport um, website. Um, here, if they're looking for group travel, here, if they're looking for wedding and honeymoon. Um, and then these images that I found here, I actually just Googled like certain titles and look for really good images. So then now you go up here if you want to change what page. So to go to the About Us page. And this is very easy. So these, this here, those are images that I literally found on Google and I saved them on my computer. And then as I had this open, I just go here and click add. Add a text, add an image, add a gallery, you know, so you can even like put photos together on display, you know. Social, you can put your social buttons on here. You can even have a store on here. Now, they, this is the free version that I'm using, to be correct, okay? This is the free version I'm using. I have not selected to upgrade as of yet, but I am thinking about it. So here you have my logo, and basically I just saved it. That's all I did. I saved it, and then they have all the cropping tools. Like if you click on the image right here, cropped filters, and all of this I typed. I just added text from this plus here. And then I just basically typed in all my stuff. And then at the bottom, you have here how all these websites have those extra things you can also click on at the bottom. Then a nice little cute picture of me. <laughs> and then my contact information. And then right under that are my social uh, bars. So I am actually going to um, add um, and link my social bars because it's very much needed. But then here's the contact us page. This is really cool. I love this. Again, over here on the side, I inserted my contact information and it already has a form on here. 
So basically, if someone fills one of these out and clicks submit, it's going to go to your email. And then I even got the little map thing going on. This is just, I love what I picked. Now, this background back here, I'm actually going to go into preview mode so you can see what it is in live action. My background has motion to it. So the trees below, you see like kind of a flowy kind of thing going on. So um, after I show you my Disney page, I am going to stop um, and go to preview because I have not. Um, done anything to the weddings and honeymoon group travel or the packages page yet, but Disney I did. So all of this I found um, on Google, like these Disney here, and I just cropped them in the circles. This is underlined because if they click on that, it's going to take them to my Disney mini site. Yes, if you are a Disney College of Knowledge um, student, which you've graduated, um, also, I don't think you have to graduate to get a mini site, but if you log into Disney Travel Agents and go to um, your resources, click on that. I'll, I'll kind of take you through that as well, but the main video for today is building a website. So this is actually an animation where that you see the pictures are changing. So it just says book your Disney destination here. Very simple. The reason I didn't fill this page up completely is because it's going to take them to my actual Disney site. So um, that saved a lot of trouble. Now we're going to go into preview mode. This is what and how your customers actually see your website. Okay. So this is how you know your editor. You say save and back to editor. So we're going to start at the home page. I'm clicking on the home page. Beautiful. See the video is gone. These are actually pictures. I took my son to California for his birthday, for his eighth birthday. And we stayed at the Legoland Resort located in Carlsbad, Carlsbad California. Carlsbad, California. Um, and so these are. So if I click here, it's going to take me to the packages page. So then let's go to About Us. And if you pay attention to the trees on the side, kind of shifting with the clouds. And so see every page is basically has a setup. I'm imagining that I will possibly be done with my under construction page here, hopefully by the end of the weekend. We've had two snow days, and honestly, this is the only reason why I've gotten so much accomplished. See, the uh, when is the honeymoon is empty. Group travel has not been filled yet either. So those are the ones that I'm working on. So you just hit back to editor, and it's going to take you back to where you were, editing your page. So it also actually takes you back to whatever the last page is you just previewed in your um, preview. So this is basically how you can build a free website. Now let's see something because I'm going to just, I just want to see um, how much it is to upgrade. Now also if you already have a domain or you can connect a domain, um, I don't know exactly what this is. Um, get found on Google, you know, stuff like that. Um, build your own domain. And these are just other options. This is tools for your site, okay? So let's go to upgrade to premium. Now, if you upgrade to premium, you get your own domain. Uh, you remove the Wix ads from your site and you get more storage and bandwidth. Basically, you have more room to create more pages of your website or to your website. Whoa. Hmm. Okay. Website and then you got business and e-commerce. Now, the business and e-commerce are for people that uh, have a store. Uh, so right now we would just be looking at the website. So for VIP, uh, first priority support. Wow, that's a lot. I don't, I don't think I need all of that. Pro, of course, they're going to say that's the best value. Um, 
Hmm. The only thing that's missing is part of the response and VIP support from that. I mean, honestly, I could probably do good with the 13 a month. And that's given a free domain for a whole year, four year. So the catch is, is how much is that domain after a year? But yes, yeah, so, I mean, honest, with all honesty, the free, um, the free one does me just fine. It really does. So um, I like it. I like it. I really do like it. So I'm going to just try to open this in a new tab. I just want to see. Because I think I may have um, accidentally hit publish and I wasn't ready to publish it yet. But it's a good thing I actually have not been advertising this site as of yet. And I deleted this. I need to go back into my editor and um, redelete that. Okay, so that's it on how to make a free website. Again, the name of the site is Wix. That is wix.com. Okay. And until our next video, I'll talk to you guys later.